So this is a diagram of a typical standing pilot gas furnace. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go over the, the wiring of a, a typical uh, standing pilot furnace. So as you can see on this diagram, we have a thermostat, we got a transformer, we got a blower motor of 120 volts, we have a fan limit that's also 120 volts, we got a thermal couple, we got a millivolt pilot valve and a main valve that is off of the 24 volts. So how do we go about wiring such a, a diagram? Well, one thing that we have to understand with a standing pilot furnace is that we really have two separate, actually three, separate circuits that are working together in the, uh, in the furnace itself. Okay, we have a 120 volt circuit that's going to be powering up, you know, our primary side of our transformer. We're going to be wiring and controlling the, the fan limit in our, our blower. That's our 120 volt side. We have the 24 volt side, which is our secondary side of our transformer, our thermostat, and our main valve on the uh, gas valve itself, the main valve. And then we have the thermal couple. Okay, the thermal couple generates millivolts just by itself. Okay, a thermal couple is a, a device that's made up of two dissimilar metals, and when I apply heat to that device, I'm able to generate millivolts. The millivolts is what energizes that pilot valve that is inside the gas furnace, so that you can keep that nice little flame lit. Okay, so how do we go about wiring this? Well, I want to go about doing this by starting off with my L1 and I want to power up all of my line voltage um, stuff first. Okay, so let's take care of that first. Okay, so here we go. I want to go first and the way I think about this is I want to take care of my fan limit really first thing because that's really what controls the entire thing it can tire, it controls the entire operation it tells me when the fan can come on and it also acts like a safety okay, in the event of a high temperature situation I want to be able to shut off my furnace so that I don't catch my house on fire and create damage so I'm gonna go there first I'm gonna start off with coming over to my my high limit just like so Okay, I'm going to come down and I'm going to wire in my fan limit just like so. Okay, so here it comes. Okay, just make it all nice and neat so that we can see what's going on. That's uh, right there. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to power it up. Okay, now I can go two different ways here, guys. Okay, I can go to my fan limit side, which again will just controls my blower, which is my fan limit side right here. Okay, notice it's again, it's a normally open thermostat. Okay, so how this furnace operates at again, at about 130, 140 degrees or so, that switch will close, which will send power down to my blower. Okay, so why don't we take care of that right now so that we can see that circuit. Okay, come down, just like so. We come down. Just like that. Okay, so I could come out of my blower and I got to go back to neutral, okay? Because I got to be able to complete the circuit. Remember, source, path, switch, load. Okay, so here's my source. Here's my path, my wire. Here's my switch. Here's my load. So I come out. And now I'm just going to come straight back up to my neutral. Just like so. 
Okay, because remember, I want to be able to complete the path. Once I complete the path, my circuit is good. Okay, source path switch load, no matter what. Okay, there you go, just like that. Okay, power coming out of my L1, bringing my power down to my fan limit. Again, this little wire right here, this little U, you can signify that that's a jumper so I can send power to both switches without having to put two separate wires in there. Comes out at 130 degrees, that switch will close, which will now send power down to my blower. Okay, back to neutral. Okay, now I want to take care of my other half of my fan limit. My fan limit, again, this is a normally closed thermostat, so at 200 degrees, that switch will open. Okay, it's a safety. I want that furnace to shut off in the event of a high temperature emergency. For reason why that will happen is maybe my blower doesn't turn on. Maybe my blower has a problem. It's seized. It has an open winding. It's short. It's something. Okay, maybe my gas valve is uh, over firing, or maybe I got too much gas pressure. Something that's going to cause that to overheat. I want something there to take out my furnace so that I can shut it off safely. And that's what that high limit switch does. So, so what I'm going to do is the only other option I have in this entire circuit is I have a 120 volt primary. I want to be able to use my high limit switch to take out my transformer in the event of some sort of emergency. So this is how that's going to go. Let's take that and let's go with, I want to go with blue. Let's go with some sort of blue. Let's go with light blue. How's that? Okay. Come right across. Okay, come down, and I'm right there. Okay, so that's what that would do. So at 200 degrees, this guy is going to open, and when that pops open, this is going to kill that wire right there. So let's complete that path as well. Let's go back. I think we're going to just go right back to black. The heck with it. All right, so let's do that. Let's take care of this. We're going to come out. And I'm just going to connect right back to my neutral, just like that. Okay, so there's that, there's that circuit right there. Again, we got source. Here's my source, my path. There's my switch. And the 120 volt primary on that transformer is now my load. So, what do we have to do now to complete this entire circuit? I have completed my 120 volt side of this circuit. It's done. Okay? Now I can focus my attention to my 24 volt side. My 24 volt side of my circuit is my 24 volt secondary for my transformer my thermostat, and my main valve, which is 24 volts. Okay, so we're going to take care of that now. Let's go, and we'll take this, and we're going to go to red. All right, because red is always our power. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to go to my, my red, just like this. Okay, and I'm going to swing this guy right up. That's going to come straight up into my thermostat, just like this. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now remember, a transformer is a load and a source. My 120 volts is my load. A 
I'm 120 volts. It's my load. My 24 volt side is now my power source. It's giving me 24 volts. I'm using power to create power. 24 volts, all through magnetism that's happening through that iron core that is inside the transformer. Okay, so I got my power coming out of my transformer up to my R, my R on my thermostat, my terminal R, power. Now I want to take that, so when that thermostat calls for for heat when the temperature in the room decides to drop that switch will now close when that switch closes I'm now going to send power out to my my W so where do you think that wire is going to have to go you guessed it it's going to go to the main valve on the gas valve 24 volts so let's take care of that now Okay, and we're going to use a different color. Let's say, since we are usually when you're looking at a thermostat, the W wire is going to be white. But since obviously we have a white background, that's not going to work so well. So we are going to use a different color. Okay, and I'm going to use orange in this case. Okay, so orange. Orange is now going to come out. I am now going to power up my main valve okay just like so okay there it is so where the heck does my other half of my coil have to go well again I have to have a complete path where did my power begin my power began down here at the 24 volt side of the transformer Okay, so in order for me to complete that path, again, remember, an electrical circuit is nothing more than a gigantic circle. Okay, it's got to have a starting point. It's got to have an ending point. It keeps going around and around and around until we eventually make it stop through some sort of control device, which in this case is our switches. So i got to come out of my 24-volt main valve, and i got to bring my power back to my transformer because that will complete my path. So... Let's take care of that. And I'm going to use a much different color orange. So we're going to go with <clears throat> a very dark orange to signify that. Okay, so here we go. There's that. There's my wire. I'm going to come up. I'm going to bring it right to here. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to complete it. Okay. There it is. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So my 24 volts is coming out of my transformer, which is now, again, my source, my path, my wire. Okay, there's my switch. There's my load. Okay, so once that switch closes, I am now going to energize my main valve so that I can actually operate my main burners. Okay, so as we go through this, the last thing that we have, which is our third circuit, uh, this, which is my thermocouple. And like I said before, the thermocouple is its own circuit. It's two dissimilar metals that are put together. And when I apply heat to those dissimilar metals, I generate millivolts. The millivolts is what's going to energize that gas valve. So all I need to do here is I just need to wire in my my pilot valve and all that is is very simple a two wires one's gonna go there the other is gonna go here just like that. 
Okay, so once I apply power to this, or apply a little flame to this, I generate millivolts. That millivolts will now travel down through thermocouple into my pilot valve, which will now energize. Okay, so thermocouple is really my source, is my source of my power. So there's my source, my path, and my load. The only thing that would be considered a switch in this circuit would be my little pilot flame. Okay, if that pilot flame goes out, my thermocouple will cool off and it will shut off and de-energize my pilot valve. Okay, so when it comes to the troubleshooting of a standing pilot furnace, you have to treat it as such. You have to treat it as if it's three separate circuits. My line voltage, my 120 side, my 24, and my thermocouple, which is my millivolt circuit. And as you can tell, the pilot coil, the thermocouple, is its own circuit.